Alright guys, I'm going to give you guys a high definition video of Miscreate It. Um, I have access to the early alpha. Um, it's uh, early alpha, pre-alpha I guess. Uh, just came out uh, to last today I guess. I came on midnight. Um, I played a little bit of it last night. But I kind of wanted to show you the, the game settings, etc. So you have your player set up. It's my uh, current Steam name, which I think is funny. And uh, you have your key bindings on what to do and how to basically use the game. Pretty simple. You have your settings here. I'm going to play this at full screen, um, 1020p. Uh, should look good. You have more option settings. I'm going to play everything on the max, very high. I have a 770. I did take off motion blur, it was making me kind of dizzy. I did also turn on the volume a little bit. And I turned my mouse sensitivity up a little, which I actually probably want to turn it down. So let me do that. So basically to play it's pretty easy. You click join server. And uh, while I was... I would join this one, but the ping's kind of bad. I might join the, this one because there's more people. I haven't been in this server yet. So there's a few servers right now. Uh, the 32 pop servers, which is not bad for uh, pre-alpha for people. I'll join the, the busiest one with the eight people on. <laughs> the music's kind of sad in my opinion. I think it's like, I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> Basically what Miscreated is though, it's it's an open world MMO, it's uh, very similar to like H1Z1, um, a little bit of IS, a little bit of a Daisy, a little bit of Rust, a little bit of Seven Days to Die. It's definitely the open world MMO uh, zonji, zombie genre games that I come out. I believe it's $20 right now for the pre-off, they might have raised the price, I paid 20 bucks for it. But I figure 20 bucks for a game is pretty cheap considering if I get like you know a few hours of gameplay out of it. And the thing I liked about it was it's open world and it's based off the Crowtech engine, which is the Crisis engine for um, the Crisis games. And it is, uh, you know, I'm still alive. What? Okay, so de uh, I was playing yesterday, and I swam out to see if you can drown, and then yeah, you couldn't drown as of right now. So I'm actually off the shore, but I'll just show you the the swimming. Uh, this game does have swimming already in there. Big shots out to, to War Z for including that what a year after the game was released. It has swimming mechanics. You can dive. You can go up and down, and it has the water water ripple when you come up. See, so you come up, down, come up, water ripple, and the water looks gorgeous. And of course, again, it has to do with the engine, the Crisis engine. But uh, the current they only have one current map. It's called this island map. Um, I still haven't really explored the whole thing yet. But it has like a variety of houses and zombies, but I just like the attention to detail in the game. I thought someone was shooting as my footsteps. <laughs> like I'm streaming at much higher resolution because I I tried uh, uploading this to Hitbox and I didn't think the video looked that good because it was only 720p. So I want to show you guys uh, 1080p. It's a gorgeous waterfall here. You see how loud it is? I'm just gonna go in. The water. You see the the shadows too. The shadows. The waterfall sounds great. You can actually farm in this game as well. Like create and farm. This is uh this is my my people here. I'm at the trailer parks. If there is a zombie apocalypse, why would you not want to go to the trailer parks? You know those guys would be so ready. They got guns, food, ammunition, America. Let's go. But uh. I don't know if they fix the spawns or not. So these are the houses. It's a uh, post-apocalyptic, you know, style, where you know, everywhere is pretty much deserted. There's trash bags. People kind of grabbed what they could, and you know, left. So what I need to do is find some gear, and I've been finding a little bit of gear in the houses on occasion, but some of these houses tend to be like have no spawns. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's something they're gonna adjust later on. Maybe go in a house that, uh... Most of the doors work, though, which is cool. 
it's pretty similar to the models. You have like the broken TV, you have pallets, you have like these one couches, you have mattresses, trash bags. They, the developers did a good job, in my opinion, of not doing too much of just, you know, copy and paste. They had to forgive me, I have allergies right now, so my nose is kind of stuffy. Uh, I saw something in there. What did I just see? Oh, that's the shelf. Oh, the cheese wheel. Oh, wait. Canteen. Sweet. So this is your guy you start out with this. <laughs> I actually found these sunglasses. You can change your clothes, you can get backpacks, you can have primary, secondary windows, hats, all that good stuff. Uh, as far as I know, they only have one character model right now, uh, just a guy. But like, I just love like the attention to detail they put. Like, look at this sleeping bag full of bones. They just have like you know the overgrowth everywhere. They have like these random uh, like taggings and stuff. Like, if it's gang related or something, maybe in the game, which is really cool. Like, I don't know. I think they they paid a lot of attention to detail. Like, their their developers, I think, spent a good amount of time. They didn't just push out a hundred percent unfinished game. You know, they really put a lot of attention to the game obviously it's it's pre-alpha so it's unfinished I'm not like, saying it's the best game ever or anything but I think they have a really good start for like you know games that are on Kickstarter and that just came out in pre-alpha I think this game has a really good uh, jump on on just how the environment looks the environment I feel looks great like it definitely has that feel there are zombies in it they have like oh there's shoes right here so I got my skater shoes. <laughs> I like my blue jeans look like Daisy Dukes. We're all walking around in our Daisy Dukes. It's cute, right? <coughs> Excuse me. So that's another pair of blue jeans. That's a hat. So you pick up this different stuff. So I have the baseball hat on now. These are the tennis shoes. I'm going to go ahead and put on my skater shoes because I'm cool like that. And then I'm going to swap out jeans. Oh, I took my pants off. Probably not a good idea. So keep those pants on. Let's keep the pants on. Come on, guys. This is a family channel. Keep the pants on. Okay, and I'm just gonna check out the environment. They have like a few different car models, and they put like basically the overgrowth everywhere. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get away from this trailer park because I remember yesterday, last night, I went to the trailer park and I couldn't find anything good. But I know that there is um, some good stuff over here. So like this is like kind of like a campsite. They have a, a really big one actually. I found it earlier, which I found decent stuff, but. Again, just the attention to detail, I think, is really cool. They didn't just do, like, you know, one tent. They did, you know, different models tents. So they changed the colors. And they even put, like, you know, the spikes in. Like, I think it's just, like, you go to, like, game, you just see, like, a shitty tent. They actually put, like, attention to detail. I think it's really cool. Oh, cool. Look what we just found. We just found a hatchet. That's cool. That's, uh, as far as I can tell right now, the hatchet is the best weapon in the game. Um... It's good for cutting down trees and uh, harvesting stone. So you could actually cut down trees when you swipe the tree. Kind of similar to like Rust or like Seven Days to Die. Or um, I think H1Z1 does that. See, I, I hit it and I'm getting wood piles now. And I can pick up the wood piles. But the problem I have right now is I don't have a backpack. So I definitely need to find a backpack. So you can actually get the wood. And then uh, you have a crafting menu here. I think if you take two pieces of wood, it turns to to boards or planks, I believe. And then with the planks, you can like build stuff later on, from from what I've been seeing. Or my friend did it, so he showed me that. So you can chop wood and you can harvest stone, as far as I know. For the stone, you have to find like little rocks to harvest. I don't think I could harvest like this big ass boulder right here. I don't think it'll work. I could try it, but I don't think it'll work. Got it. Let's try it though. Oh shit, you can. See, pick up rock. You can pick up rock and stone. That's all I know you can harvest as of right now that I know of. Probably can check out this house across the lake. Let's go do that. I just uh, like, I love the atmosphere. I know they're going to add um, probably some more grass and stuff because this area looks kind of bare. But there's other areas where they spend a good amount of time. Like, this bridge looks pretty awesome, too. So I'm going to go in and swim across. The water's kind of murky. It's not that cl clear, which is pretty normal. If you live in the Bay Area, the water would be black. He lives in Oakland. Oh, my God. Don't get me started. We have, like, a few canals in Oakland. Oh, my God. It's, they're straight black, and they stink of sewage. Like, if you go in there, you're going to die. That's just what's going to happen. 
I don't think any uh, sane humans go in there. Also, this game has unlimited sprint. I probably should be sprinting the whole time. As of right now, they haven't added uh, you getting tired. But they did have um, food. Like, you see in the bottom corner, Alpha point zero zero one one four two. They did add, like, food, hunger, heat. It's very similar to, like, DayZ H1Z1. I have a red... Uh, I'm not sick, guys. I have allergies, so my nose is kind of stuffy. So it sounds like I'm sick, but I'm absolutely not sick. So there's another house here. Let's see if we can find anything. I really need a book bag. Not a backpack, a book bag. And there is nothing. Also, like, the, the windows, like, when you look at the windows, I don't think you can break them yet. Oh, you can break them! You see, look how cool that is from the windows, textures. You can see the graphics, how it's, like, really shitty, and then in the window. So if you're trying to chase someone, you could probably break this window. You actually can break the window. Okay. I couldn't break another window before. That's pretty cool. I wonder if I can jump through. Dude, you would not want to jump. Even, even the glass breaks, uh, see how it breaks differently? It's not all the same. I can get out of this without dying. Let's find out. Oh! So if you're in a pinch and you guys see a house with a glass, you can break it to get out of there if you're being chased by a zombie or... You know, I'm hoping this game's going to have good PvP. That's what I'm really hoping. It will have good person versus person. It will be a whole bunch of people, you know, trying to survive. Because I know this game does have guns. I haven't found any yet. But I know it does. Because I find uh, ammunition for the game. These coolers are open in some parts of the game. And they have stuff in them. But, uh... I think as in pre-alpha, oh shit, there's a gnome right there. That gnome's so creepy, look how creepy that gnome is, leave. Alright Mr. Gnome, you got it. That was kind of cool. I've never seen that before. They have uh, a f like broken down vehicles, these buses, I think. Watch this, watch this. Boom! Look at this. Right through. Boom! So, the hit, uh, the detection is needs to be put uh, changed when they see a door. Sometimes you can run through it, which I think is kind of funny. And even the bus, like you can't, you can't go in all the way. But they have like the bus is one of the vehicle models. And other parts of the game, I was able to find stuff in the cars. But uh, like I said, I don't think they finished the loot tables. So if you're gonna play the game right now, you're really not gonna find very much. But uh, like I said, for for pre-alpha, I think they're. You know, they're headed in the right direction, for sure. Because I bought this game, like, maybe four or five months ago when they said it was going to go to pre-alpha. Because yeah, I thought it looked cool. Because I'm like, oh, this looks kind of cool, you know. Oh, there's another person here. They don't have voice chat yet. Let's just go talk to this guy. Tell him hi. Team? Oh, this guy's running. All right, let's see if we can kill him. So again, look at the character models. <coughs> Excuse me. Look at the character models. I like the way they run, like the way the arms move, the jumping features. The only thing that's a little annoying is that like you really no one's really gonna stop running. He's gonna make that jump. Thinks he's gonna lose me or something? I see you, dude. Okay. Oh, one hitter quitter. I even like the way they ragdoll. <laughs> he punched me a few times. But they even ragdoll, and then when you get over them, you can actually open their inventory and uh, basically take their stuff. So he only had some nails, which doesn't really do me any good. So, I actually don't want any of his stuff. I gave him the deal with the glasses. So yeah, that was my first murder. Oh, actually my second. I killed someone yesterday. And then when you're, like, basically wounded, you have these little red things around the screen. But as I know as of right now, in the super pre-alpha release, there's only melee weapons, so in order to kill someone, you're going to be trying to melee them. And I haven't been able to kill a zombie yet, or an animal. I, I don't think the detection is um, set up yet for that. And if you notice, see how I got hit? See how my, uh, 
little medical thing is in yellow because I need to get some medical attention. And I know uh, across this uh, bridge to the left, there's a really big uh, farmhouse that has medical supplies and food, which I want to probably check out. So I'm going to go ahead and run over this. These feel like uh, train bridges, to be honest. They're so big. I found out the hard way that you cannot fall off the bridge. If you fall off the bridge, you die, which is pretty obvious, but they definitely have fall damage put in. <coughs> Excuse me. I need water. But this game just like looks so gorgeous. I really just can't get over how nice it looks. Like the foresty part looks really super foresty, that you know the outside. Like it's the engines and it's the map is huge. It's really big. Oh there's another guy over here. Let's see if I can get a double kill. So I don't. I'll walk towards him, I don't want to scare him. Oh, he's dead. You die! <laughs> so, remember I was telling you guys about not jumping up the bridge, you'll die? There you go. <laughs> there you go. Don't jump off a bridge. Your friend. Hey, all my friends jumped off the bridge. I'm going to do it soon. No, don't do it. Don't jump off the bridge. So I'm going to keep showing you guys the map. More cars. More cars. Oh, I know it's over here. This is one of the really big uh, cities over here. It was really cool. I think this is probably the main uh, PvP spot in the game. Just some of the towns are just so big. And with 32 people on the server, I think it's going to be a lot of fun once they like add in weapons and like explain the different crafting things, which I'm sure there's actually a, a lot more than I know about because I just started playing the game, but I think they're doing a good job. I, th I, I would recommend like if you guys want to buy this game, maybe wait for like an update or two for them to add more PvP aspect because if as of right now, uh, you do get this when you log out, you save wherever you log down, no matter what server you go on to. And, uh, the PvP is not that great because there's only axes as far as I can tell. I mean, maybe you can craft a gun, but I don't know how to do that yet or find one. <coughs> but if you just want to, like, check out the game and, like, run around the map and, like, appreciate how beautiful it looks, I mean, it's definitely Runny Simulator 2015 coming up. They have uh, the different towns that are labeled. This one's called Woodhaven. And I think, again, this is, like, <coughs> I really should get some water for making these videos. Have a really cool warehouse, you know, set inside. You know, chain link fence looks like it was overrun. Almost the the whole place looks like it was overrun. There's really there's safe zones around the map, but they're the edge of the map you can't like really go to. So this is a gas station. I just love like like you see all the trash is just everywhere. There's trash bags. One thing I wish they would add is like maybe b more bones or more bodies, you know, because it just feels like everyone kind of disappeared. That everyone kind of packed up in a hurry and left, which is fine. And I think like a gas station and a zombie apocalypse would definitely be a lot more looted in my opinion. So I got me a beanie. I already have that, so I really don't need to pick it up. So what I find is these stores have pretty good loot. Um, they didn't have the most amount of stuff, but you kind of have to check all the shelves. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. If I make another video, I will make sure to have water, okay? <laughs> so I'm looking for anything good. I see nails. Again, I need a backpack. So the nails really aren't going to do me any good. There's another canteen right here, but... Well, you know what I could do? I, I could consume this canteen. Get rid of it, and then... Uh, Get this canteen if I can pick it up. I'll be stuck. I feel like that's stuck in there. Whatever. I'll find another one. Find another one. See, I was talking about the coolers do actually open. There tends to be food in the cooler sometimes. I don't even know what the respawn rate is in this game. 
Like I have no idea. The fridges, some of the fridges open, some of them don't. Uh, what else? You know, there's actually a, a market, which, which is better than the gas station. I think it's over here to the left. No, it's a different city. So this is one of the bigger towns over here. This reminds me of like a fire station. See, fire department. Uh, again, like, you know, Daisy, the fire department always had like, you know, pretty good gear in the tower, etc. This place is pretty similar looking, but I don't think the spawns are set up yet. They have a little bit of furniture, but they haven't put everything in. They have like a really big town over here. They can loot and check out. Again, this is like, I think it's one of the really, one of the bigger cities in the game. It stretches out pretty far. I mean, you see how big this game is. It's massive. I think it's going to be really fun to like, you know, PvP with the clan or even like for like solo PvP would be cool. Like this looks like an old, this looks like where I live, an old run down apartment building. Not living that, kidding. I've never been over here. I just love the signage they put up here. Leave. Run for your life. Get out of here. Suspect the government. Damn. Not respect. I like it. Oh, I hear a zombie. Okay, I gotta show you a zombie in this video. So I haven't really found much of anything good, to be honest. But there is a zombie. So these are the zombies in the game right now. I don't want to fight them because I've, I've died to them every single time. I don't know if you can kill them yet, but they have like shorts and they have like spear for an arm. Dude, this guy like does legs a lot. This guy got some monster calves. So once they see you, they'll start running after you, but the good thing is you run a little bit faster than them. So you can pretty much outrun them. I don't want to fight them because they're like, I guaranteed to get killed. And I have a hatchet, which is pretty decent. See? Oh, I was talking about the the end of the map. These are the towers at the end of the map over here. I don't really know what they do yet. I just think they're used for like a wall. It just feels like it kind of feels like you're trapped. Like you see how like I'm trapped in over here. They're probably gonna expand on the map, obviously. I mean as the game gets bigger, but like they have a wall there for like no reason. I'm trying to run the zombie. I want to see the sign says. I think it's Woodville. Uh, Woodhaven, whatever. No! They're really persistent. They remind me of the zombies in the DayZ, how they're pretty persistent after you. They won't stop chasing you. Which is good. Because there's really nothing else that can kill Well, I guess other people can kill you, but the zombies uh, can as well. And I like the jumping thing. I think I can actually scale this wall. No, nah, it's a little too high, but you can scale over some of the fences, which is cool. There's been, like, signs that said, like, we are here, we are armed, and I checked them out. I couldn't find any guns. I like the tagging. Like, I think it just looks awesome. It's a good-looking game. I don't think I go this way. Alright, lost the zombie. Good. Let me check out these houses. Also, I think, like, I don't know if you could break down these boards or not. No, you can't. Most of these, almost every single one of these houses are enterable, which I really, I have to respect the development team for spending the time on. You know, I, I'm sure a lot of these are just copy and paste, but... For the ho some houses, this is one of the few houses I don't think developers got around to, but they're probably going to add more furniture and, you know, change. Every house that I've been in has been different. No house has been, like, a direct copy and paste. They all have, like, you know, boxes or set up some weird way with sleeping bags, etc. But, uh, just be careful of the houses. I tend to, like, if you play this game for a long time, I get kind of dizzy in the houses. I don't know why. I think it's because the stairs are so close. But you see, like, that house had nothing, but you see this house has, like, a water heater, use the door, you know, they're, they're living here for a little bit. What is this stuff? 
cables and ties. These guys are some freaky stuff. Alright, there's another one. I've seen this boar head a few times. I don't know what it does. It kind of lags. Wild boar. They have like pictures and stuff. It looks cool. Books. But I've not found anything good. I think these are like lock boxes. I don't know what they do though. They're not. You can't activate them or anything. So I don't know. Let's open this fridge. Can't open this one. Huh. Not finding anything. A lot of times though, these crouch uh, places are usually pretty good. There's something here. I think. Nope. That's a book. I'm not finding much of anything at all. Nothing. Nothing? Okay. Again, I think it's only certain windows you can break. Can't break these. Can't break these. Can't break these. Can't break these. Okay. Cool. And this game it does have a uh, traverse weather, um, so it has rain, night, day. The rain actually looks really awesome. I made a video of the rain earlier. It was my first video I made. But this is like the daytime. Uh, ooh, someone died over here. Look. So their bodies stay in, I believe. I can uh, check out they didn't have anything good, but someone did die over here in the middle of the road. So if you're like doing PvP or stuff, you see like a dead body. That's uh, people don't sleep in this game. So whenever you come across that, you know that there's someone who's been here, you know, sometime. It's slayed another player. Hmm. I'm not finding any. I can't find any food. I can't find any backpacks. <coughs> Nothing good for me. But anyways, this has uh, been miscreated, guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed just the engine. On oh, we finally found stuff. We got Pepsi. Drink my pop. Drink my pop. Their shoes are here. Their skater shoes. Yeah, I can't fit shoes. Already have some on. Oh, there's pants here too. So there is gear in this game, but you have to really look. You have to like really look for it. Like a lot of the stuff, in my opinion, really blends in blends in the map because it's just like there we go peaches we can eat that so now I'm not hungry like the backpacks I found have been like in corners like they'll be like in the corner like that like on the back of the door they're so hard to find sometimes or like you know oh, there's more sunglasses here let's see what's the cooler give me the deal with it deal with it bro there's a heat pack. See, it says pick a heat pack, but I don't even see it. <laughs> okay. I wonder if I can open these. No. Okay. Nope. The oven's upstairs. I like it. It's good. Okay, back outside. All right, so this has been miscreated. This game is uh, pre-alpha release right now. I believe it's twenty dollars. I'll go ahead and post the the website in my link below. Uh, I really appreciate you guys watching my video. Uh, please, you know, retweet, you know, share it as much as you guys like. Uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much for watching. You guys have a great day.